I want to make a bag, not a big one, as big as the as big as this, with two lateral pockets, with a sort of pocket on the face of the bag. I will stitch it really rustic. I won't stitch it with lace, but I will stitch it with X's. But first I have to to dye the, the leather. This time I choose some mahogany dye. Some mahogany dye. So I have this type of recipient, it helps me a lot because I will a small quantity of dye here. I will clean the recipient, I don't like it when it is dirty. I will make a little test on this piece of leather. What a beautiful color. Fibix really makes good it paints, dyes. I don't want to have dye in the holes and the thread will be contaminated with, with the dye. I will stop dyeing this leather. I will show you the final result. I dyed the leather and now I will make the signs for the hole. At those corners here the distance between these holes is smaller than the distance here because I have to consider the thickness of the leather and when I will place the gasset the holes will match like this. I have to show you this. Here I have uh, holes from 5 to 5 millimeters and here they are uh, uh, a little compressed. I don't know the word in English. So you see they match and they will match here too. Like this. Of course here on this big parts I, I respected this rule so these holes are uh, closer one to each other than the, these ones where I have some curves usually I don't have to do this when I, I stitch like this face over gasset the distance between the holes is the same here and here so this is not a bag that you can, you can make with, with a stitching machine, with a sewing machine. Ok, I will make all the signs. Now I will make the holes. First I will use this to mark a line because I want all those holes to have the same distance from the edge. I will use this piece of pantyhose. It keeps the punch on my finger and it makes my life easier. For stitching this, I will make a special needle. This is a straight needle and I want to bend it a little. First, I want to bend its peak. So I will use two pliers. I burn a little because it is quenched. I think this is the word. You see, this is the, the most important part of the needle, this peak, like this. 
and now I will bend it more. Here is too straight. I will bend it a little here too. I can't requench it. It is a softer steel than before. Let it be cold. It's okay. This is my needle. You see it here. I will glue this, but this part will be stitched on the pocket, so I will groove it. I have a groover. I want that this part will bend exactly as I want. So this is thick leather, 2.4 millimeters. I bend it first with my thumb, then with this plier. You see, it stays perfect. This leather is good. It doesn't crack. Verify if your leather don't crack. It's important. If the leather cracks, treat it with mink oil. If it is vegetan. Okay, I made this part. Now, this is this looks hard to do, but if you master this part, everything you will do will be a lot easier. I will dry my brush with a cloth so. This part is tricky. You see, glue. I will glue the edge like this. For me, it is very easy. I do. I did this many, many times. This bag is a bag that everyone can make very very easy with this uh, gluing okay this is glued now it will dry a little and now this part you see from here to here take care not to spread the glue elsewhere I will let it dry. It is dried. Now we will join these two parts. Take care. You see the holes match. Look at them. You see? Like this. Now we are on the corner. I told you that the distance is smaller than here because look at this. This leather has thickness and now they match. You see? They match. This one, this one, this one, this one. Everything matches. Don't forget it is leather, so you can elongate it or compress it. I will take this distance six times, because first I will make the zig, 
and then I will make the zag. This needle. I will punch the, the thread like this because I don't want to, to lose, the, to lose the, the thread. And now I will start, I, I won't start here. I'll start here like this. You see how easy this I will bring this here. I will keep it with my index and now I will start not here but here. You see I grabbed the thread with this. I will change a little this peak, this needle. You can do it. It is not quenched still, so you can bend it easier. This is the second step. Another step. Another step. This is zig. Now we make the zig. Another step. Now we are at a sort of end. But we will stitch it exactly as we do it. Now we will make a step like this one. You see? You see? I will double this. And now we will do the zag. X X From time to time we will press to, to match the parts. We generate a lot of tension with this teaching and we, we can move the, the, the leather a little and it will look bad. It, we will see this, uh, this part of the leather. And so on. I will stitch this, the other pocket, and I will come back after that. I stitched the pockets, as you see. Everything is stitched. Now I will stitch the, the straps on the cover of the pockets and I will do it as usual using glue. So first I will scratch here it will be close to it uh, stud. to let the glue dry a little and now we will fix them using the marks the signs and this one like this okay we will check you see perfect match they are the same I have a smaller punch this one this is one millimeter punch, it isn't necessary, but it will be better to, to make small holes here. And I also ha ha have a two millimeter punch, this one. 
I make this hole here and I will make these holes too like this now I will show you why I did this I will make a, a small flower here so straight here now in the center then here okay you see I catch this this thread here and that's why I made small holes I only have one uh, one thread here not two like in usual stitching see the thread is under another thread so it will stay okay finish so now I will do like this and for sure this thread will stay here forever. Now, here. I don't know, you can play with this stitching. I will do it this way. Like this. I'll grab the same thread, you see. I will make an X first the first part of the X I will double this step now back I make the X and I will double last step And now this. Burn. And now we are sure that this will remain here. I like it. And I have this to, to make this cut. It is easier for me. Like this. The stub will stay here. Easy. See you when I will stitch the pockets to the to the gusset. The gusset is bended as I want. I can stitch it easy. Let's use my usual magnetic pony stitch. I will help myself with this hole. The threads have the same length. It has a rustic aspect that I like. When I started Leathercraft, this was my, my uh, type of construction. But in the, those times I stitched with, with uh, leather lace. So I made 3 mm holes and I stitched with 3-4 mm lace. I didn't even know that the, there is 1 mm thread and small punches. Oh. <laughs> I stitched the pockets, this one and this one, and now I will stitch the cover of the pocket. 
and I want it to bend easier. So, as usual, I will use a grover. I will change the distance for the grover with one millimeter. I will enlarge this indentation. And now you see it will bend easier. If you want a little more for this, you can also skive it. I will skive it a little like this. You see? Really easy. Easy peasy. This is a tough leather. It won't allow me to cut it easy. My, my knife is as sharp as hell. And now I will stitch the, the cover. You see how I insert the thread in the needle? I do like this again, again, every time the same, really easy. If we cook. Oopsie, I punched the thread. Usually I don't do this. No problem. Another step. I will finish this stitching. It is the second flap. This is the advantage of using a neodymium magnet as a pony stitch. You can adjust the angle for the stitching. You can do a lot of things. Finished out the magnet. In this place, cut the thread, make the knot. And now we will have to, to close these pockets. I didn't close them from the beginning because I don't know how this will bend. And it's important to, to make it precise. So it will stay in this position. I will mark this sign. I have this. I will make a hole as usual. I will take a stub. I will place it here inside. It isn't easy, but it's doable. Oh, it was easy. I will place this too. Because now I will use super glue. I have a drop of super glue here. I place it here, like this. I will clean the excess. And now, I will keep with my finger. And that's all with this. Let's close it. Okay, and I will do the same here. I stitched the pockets, I stitched the flap of the pockets, and uh, now I will have, theoretically now is the moment when I will stitch this front pocket, but I won't do that because I don't know how I close the bag, how I will close this bag. So, I will place this, uh, this pocket uh, at the end, after I will stitch the gusset on the 
face of the bag and on the back of the bag. As you already know, I will glue the edges exactly as I glued the edges when I stitched the pockets, like this. I will show you just a little. Show you. It is exactly as it was when I stitched the, the, the pocket. The exception is that the gasset will not be bent as in the pocket's case. I finished to glue the gasset and the face of the bag. And now I will stitch, as I told you. First I will stitch the back of the bag. Because I made the correct pattern, the holes will match easy, even on corner. Please glue. I have a very good glue, so that helps me very, very much. Don't forget that leather can be a little compressed or a little expanded. Now you see better what I do. You see all holes match really easy. This is my first bag constructed this way in years. Although I made bags like this all the time when I started leather craft. This is the only hard part. All the rest is incredibly easy and you can stitch it watching TV as I will do. Here it is. Here it is, you see. Everything stays in place because of this glue. So I will stitch it very, very easy. Now let's stitch it. You see, I don't know where the, the pocket will be, but we will do that after I will stitch this keeping this thread to make the knot. You see, like this. I will keep this thread like this with my finger. And you see, the, the needle stops the, the thread to move inside. I keep this thread with my right hand and now I will make the second step like this. Now I can use tension, a lot of tension, like this. You see inside I keep the inside thread when I stitch, so the thread will stay in place. And now everything will be the same as it was at the pocket. Two steps in place. with me one two this will reinforce this point and now we finish the axis
And now I open the back of the insert this. This here. This here. And give it a little volume. No. The big one. Now I can keep it without bending it. It's better this way. I will go all the, all the way here and then I will finish the stitching here, of course. I stitched all the face almost all the back and now I'll finish the stitching I will show you how I will make the knot at the end it is like for the pocket Everything is X, so I will make a step inside, directly inside. And then I will hide the, the thread under the, the thread inside. You see? It is the place where I hide the other end of the thread cut burn okay i finished with the curved needle as i told you i don't know how to to close this bag and now I see that it will be possible for me to make it a handle as well this is not a strap it is only a piece of leather but let's see how it looks it looks good probably I will do it with something like this and here I will place a biscuit and here a buckle or I can close it like this with a locks. Hmm. I can do that too. I don't know now how I do it. So I will stop and I'll start again tomorrow. I forgot to insert the memory card, so I have to, to make some explanations after that. I already told you that I don't know how to close this, so I will stitch the pocket after I will decide. I decided that I will place a locks here, so I will close it with something like this, because of design I want to place this here it will look better you see and uh, uh, I already cut the parts <laughs> because I thought I, I film I'm, I was filming but I didn't and I have the pocket I, I already stitched this piece I stitch it, it uh, to be consequent. I stitch it like this one with axis and line edges. I, I uh, uh, glued it. You see I have the sides here and here. So I marked the corners here and I marked the corners here. 
and now I will glue it. It's easy to glue. Okay. I am really careful with this, so it is glued. When glued, it is very easy to make the holes. I don't have to mark the holes. I, I made too many holes, so I can make them freehand. When you make a bag like this and you close it with a locks, you have to make this thing very precise. If you work in a factory, it's easy because everything is controlled. The thickness of the leather is the same all the time. The accessories are the same all the time. But we work with different materials. My leather is not uh, uh, the same every time. This one has 2.4, 2.6 millimeters, but it is not perfectly uniform. So, if you close a bag and you miss 5 millimeters, it won't look good enough. So I will show you how I do this. It's easy. But I will make these holes. I will stitch them. Then I will glue the pocket on the face of the bag. That will be, you will do that from the beginning you, uh, because you will have the pattern for doing this. I stitched this. Now I have to place this pocket here. I will glue it. I can do this with double tape adhesive, but I prefer to, to, to do it with this. I have a, a plastic for making these holes, so it will be easy for me. Be very, very careful when you do this. I will scratch also here. We don't have to, to spread too much glue because we will stitch this. And stitching is something very, very safe. We use the glue only to keep the parts in place when making holes and stitching. Using the marks, I will place the pocket where it should be. It is very good. I will hammer. You see, the glue is good enough to, to connect the parts even here. I will mark the distance from the edge with the Of course you will do this from the beginning because everything will be marked. But I didn't know how I will close this back so I had to do this. I made the holes as you see. For me it is really easy to stitch with the hand inside but again you will do this from the beginning, before we, you will stitch the gusset. I finished the stitching. I said that I will show you something. Uh, if you want to close the, the, this bag very, very, very precise. So, I will close this pocket as this. I will place this where it will be. And now I will mark the sign here. So this is the place for the, the locks closure. I will make the hole. This is a one, one centimeter punch.
like this. This one will be here, like this. And this one, this one will be here. It works, and of course, I will glue it as usual. I will glue it like this. I will put it a little down, I will mark when match. I will cover the line, of course. I will scratch a little careful. Not to scratch where you don't need to scratch. Hey. hey. Here too. Okay, like this now. Match everything. You see everything matches. Let's close it. No, no. You see how perfect it is. And now I make the holes. You will have everything directly on the pattern. And so on. Magnetic pony stitch. Double first step. Now I have to place the D-rings here and make the strap. The straps are almost ready. I only have to place a buckle on them. So I, I stitched everything and uh, now I understand that I want some stitchings here. You have the whole signs on the pattern, of course. I will stitch axis here. But First, I'll make the zig with two needles, of course. Okay, let's uh, fix this, the magnet. Now it doesn't move. So this is the point where we turn the stitching like this and now we finish the axis very very hot 
in the stitching, no problem. I stitched the axis and now I will stitch the D-rings. You will do that from the beginning, it will be easier. But as I told you, I never know when I make something new, I don't know how the final product will look. I, I know a lot of things about the object, but not everything. And this is what I don't know, where I put the D-rings. Because they relate in a way with the pocket, and I know that only after I will look at this. I will use the magnet to keep it, to keep this in place, as you see. And I will stitch easy. After that I will stitch the, the straps. I will show you this when it will be ready. Let's finish the strap. We have the holes. I spread a little glue. I will match the holes now. With the nail I verify that the holes matches. They match, of course, easy. And now I stitch. So I stitched the strap and now I can place the strap on the bag. And this is it. You see?